This tutorial explains uh, implementation of Newton Raphson method. Now, this method is again uh, used for solving um, any equation uh, in single variable, and it could be a nonlinear equation. Um, for example, from the last tutorial where we were trying to solve um, AD A square root D uh, problem we can implement newton draftson method. And the way it works is that um, if we have a curve and we are trying to find f of, f of x is equal to zero, the, which is the solution of this equation, then we initialize this um, process, newton draftson method, with some initial value, let's say xn, and we compute the value of the function at that point and the value of its slope at that point. So f and f prime. And knowing these two values, we try to guess the next possible solution, which is xn plus 1, which is the extension of the straight line fit where it crosses the x-axis. And this becomes our new guess. And then Similarly, if this is our new guess, we find the value of the function and its derivative at this point. And so our derivative at this point is our new uh, approximation of the function. And we pass a straight line and see where it crosses the x-axis. And that becomes our next level approximation of the solution. And we follow the same process until we our error reduce is, is less than certain tolerance value and that gives us the solution. So following on the same lines, we will implement this equation and solve it using newton raphson method. So first of all, we define the function uh, the way we defined it before. So it's a function of y and we have 3 plus y cubed times y cubed divided by 3 plus 2 y and minus 3.67. So that is f. And we can use a function called diff f as a, uh, with respect to y. So we're saying differentiate f with respect to y. And we can do that to find the um, different differentiation but this error uh, is I just came because we did not define it as symbol so we say sims y which gives which defines y as a symbol and then we define our function again and this time it should work so differentiate f with respect to y which will give the derivative of this function now we can use this to define f prime, which is a function of y again. And we can copy paste this expression of the derivative and put it in front of this definition. So now we can find the function, the value of the function at a given location and also find its derivative at that location. So suppose we guess our initial value to be 1. And we know to find the next estimate, we need to use this equation, which is the new estimate will be the old estimate minus the value of the function at the old estimate divided by the value of the derivative of the function at the old estimate. So this is the equation that we'll implement. So 1 minus the value of the function at 1 divided by value of the derivative of the function at 1. So this gives us the new estimate, which is 0.78. So we use this as our new value and again calculate the value um, of the function and its derivative and plug it into the equation. And this gives us the next estimate. Oh, uh, prime. This should be prime. So this gives us the next estimate. Um, so clearly this is 
um, saved in ANS, so we can just use ANS variable every time. So the ANS value minus the value of the function add the ANS value divided by the value of the derivative of the function add ANS value. So this gives us 0 0.68, which is ANS, new value of the ANS. So we can again run this function just using the up arrow. We can get that again, 0 0.68. So I'm going to keep running it a couple of times and it looks like we have converged to 0 0.6844 um, as the answer. And if you remember when we did F0 of F by initializing with zero, we got the same answer. So using newton Raphson Newton Raphson method, we are getting exactly the same value. Um, so this is how you can implement newton Raphson method. So I will put these commands here um, just to make sure that they are they are clear. So first we have to put sims y, which means we are defining a symbol called y. Then we are defining the function of y and and using this method we print the the derivative of the function with respect to y and then using that we define the derivative itself and once we have the function and its derivative defined then all we have to do is just initialize some value x is equal to 1 for example and then keep running the f the the line x is equal to x minus f of x divided by fp of x so this will continuously keep updating the x value with a new estimate of the solution of the equation. So this concludes the tutorial about how to use Newton-Raphson methods.